Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Do you hear me, guys? Yes. Can I? Yes, yes, I can. Affirmative, yes, I can. affirmative. Yes, I can. Can you hear me, uh, Josue? Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, that is the answer. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Because it's affirmative. Okay. Yes. Can, can I, can I, when you, when you say can I, is for questions. Can I go okay. to the bathroom? Can I, can I eat in this moment, etc. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, welcome, Josue. Great to see you. Uh, let's see who else is online. Evelyn Beatriz Alguero. Hello. Hello over there. Do you hear me, Evelyn? Do you? Okay, maybe she is connecting the microphone. Uh, Pablo, Pablo Reyes, good evening. Welcome, great to see you online too. Okay, we are four in the meeting at the moment. It's already nine o'clock and one minute, but there is no problem. We can wait a couple of minutes for your classmates. Okay, how was how was your day? How was your day, guys? Normal day. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yes, yes. no. Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. No news? Any news? No. No. Okay, great. Okay, that's great. No. When you have no news about about your the things that you do every day, that's cool. Okay, but we have some news around the world. Have you have you watched the 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 news about the earthquakes? The yes. earthquakes Mexico. in in Mexico in the other <laughs> country. Where where was it? Donde fue the other country? China. Uh, China, China in English, China, uh, China, China in English, China in China, in China. wasn't in a different country, no era en, en otro, in different country, no, China, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> mm, yeah, but it was near there, fue cerca de ahí, okay, but in China, I don't know, Asia, I guess. For Asia. Okay, Chinese around there. Okay, Claudia Jamilet. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how is it going, Claudia? How are you tonight? Fine, fine. Um, close the church. Okay, perfect. Close the, the church. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, do you live close a church? Church, iglesia. Uh -huh. Yes, saliendo. <laughs> ah, going out. Okay, going yes. out from. Going out from, from the church. church. De la iglesia. Yes. Okay, yes. going out. Oh, okay, be careful on your way. Be careful Thank on, you. on your way. Okay, good, good. Adrián Hernández, good evening. Hello, Adri. How is it going? Hey, Claudia Jamilet is in a party. Where are you, Claudia? Are you in a party? No? Concert? I see you outside. I love you afuera. Not at home. Ah, there is a church. Ah, okay, that's the church. Okay, good. What is the church? What church is it? Uh, microphone. Microphone is deactivated. Nuestra Señora del Carmen. Ah, okay. And where is that? Uh, what, which department? In San Salvador. Ah, here in San Salvador. I, I don't know the church. I don't know where it is located. Okay, but um, cool. Boulevard Venezuela. Ah, nearby the Boulevard Venezuela. Okay, be careful around. Okay, because yes. of the time. Okay, are you going by car? I guess. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay, that's, that's better. That's better yes. than going on a bus. Okay, good, good, guys. Let's see, it's already nine and five minutes. 
Uh, we are seven, but we need to begin today's class. Did you receive the message in, in the group? Let me ask you, did you receive it? Did you see the message about the, the platform, about the assignments? Yes. Yes, in the email, oh, in huh? the WhatsApp. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, I will tell you in Spanish a little bit so it can be clear, que pueda estar claro. Uh, ahí dice que puede uh, completar la sección 4 y 5 en el, en el mensaje. Ok, uh, no es necesario que vayamos a clase de ejercicio, clase de ejercicio. Usted puede avanzar a uh, lo más que pueda en las asignaciones de la plataforma, en las secciones también. Así que por si usted quiere avanzar, pues go ahead, dele. No hay ningún problema con eso. All right. Teacher, yes? one question. In mm -hmm. this week, finish three sections. Or oh, four section. Uh, uh, uh -huh. um, I counted. Uh, I counted nine classes with uh, today. Conté nueve classes with uh, with today's class. But to make sure, para asegurarnos, let me ask you because it is supposed that that we need to finish section four this week only. Eh, solo la sección 4 en esta week, porque es eh, week number 3, right? Week number 3. Yes or no? Okay. Yes or yes. no? We have, we have received uh, two weeks of classes. Ya recibimos two weeks. During the third week, we need to complete uh, the section 4, okay? During the third week. In the, four, the fourth week, uh, the section 5 in the final exam in the fourth week. But as I tell okay. you, you can advance in the platform, okay? About the classes, okay. we are gonna finish section four throughout this week, a lo largo de esta semana. But with the assignments, you can advance, puede avanzar ahí, in the platform. All right, clear, clear on that? Okay, thank you. Okay, not a problem, good, good, good. If you have questions, you can ask. All right, let's begin the class. Uh, let's see, uh, do you see my screen, my monitor? Do you see? Yes, teacher. Yes, I can you see you. see. I do. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, we have another picture from Microsoft Bing, a different picture. I don't like it too much, mm, but it's a nice picture. Okay, what is that animal? What's that animal? Do you know? Focus. Focus. No, no. that's in Spanish. Marmotas. Marmotas. No, no, no. Uh, it's how do you say marmota in English? No idea, right? No. Okay, let, let me see if I if I find in my hard drive. Uh -huh. Do oh, see? Grand grand uh, hog uh, grand hog. Groundhog, I guess. Groundhog Day, Dia de la Marmota. Let me let me remember. Grand Groundhog. Mm, let's find out. Let's find out. But I am close. I know that I am close. I que estoy cerca. But if I have doubts, I use the tools. I use the tools. Si tengo dudas, qué hago? Huh? Ah, yes, it was. It was a correct word, groundhog. Okay, that is a marmota, no? But they aren't. They aren't have groundhog. There is like dog of water. Ah, dog of water, perro de agua. Yes. Okay. It, this it, is marmota. Okay, this is marmota in English. Uh -huh. Okay, perro de agua. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. you mean the order? In, 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 in our country, say uh, the of water uh, is, is type animal. Okay, to classify or to say or to refer about that animal in other countries, they say uh, water, dog of water, you mean, right? Yes. Okay, but um, I know it in English as otter. Yo la conozco okay. como order. Okay. They are. 
They are orders. No triads, I guess. Okay, those, there are animals that they seem very, or they look very similar. Okay, let's go with the class. Uh, welcome to the rest. Uh, let's see who else is in class. Ah, Carlos and Gabriela, let's say welcome. Veronica is online to you. Yeah. Welcome, guys. How is it going? Good, good, good. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Good evening, Veronica, Veronica Lisset. Okay, guys, uh, today we have class number nine. Class number nine, correct. We are advancing in the in the level in this new level, pre intermediate model two. Okay, the indications you know, then you can use your camera all the time during the meeting. Uh, the schedule 9 p.m. Be attentive, and of course, your participation is always important. And your questions too, you can make them. Okay, don't leave the questions for later. You can ask. Okay, and the four areas that we practice are always. Uh huh. Let me hear you. Speaking. Let me hear your speaking. Okay. Speaking. Uh -huh. Next Listen. thing, listening. Listen. Grammar. 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 Practice. And of course, practice. 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 Okay. That is the last one, but not the least important. No la menos importante. It's very important. Okay. Today's class is going to be about... Uh -huh. About what? Describing? Describing people. People, describing people. Okay, maybe you can mention some uh, adjectives or terms that you might know about how to describe people. Okay, in the picture, we have this beautiful girl for the first example. How would you describe this girl? When you are describing people, you are referring and basically in her appearance okay physical appearance what could you say about this girl how would you describe her any any idea how would you how could you describe this girl how do you describe her como la describe she has Real hair. Okay, she has a red hair. Repeat. Yeah. Hair. Hair. Okay. Hair. Red hair. Correct. Okay, that's a good sentence, and it is correct. She has perfect. The the third person. She has, of course. Okay, that is correct. And uh, what else? Only she has a red hair, and no more. No more to describe about the girl. We have more things to describe her. She uh -huh. has cute smile. Okay, she White has, smile. Uh, okay, she has a cute, a cute smile. Okay, that is correct. Uh, what else? Can you repeat it? Cute smile. Uh, Josue, uh, can you repeat it one more time, please? She has. She has. A mm -hmm. good smile. Cute, cute. Cute smile. Okay, cute, smile. cute. Okay, cute. The pronunciation is cute. Okay, good. Cute. Okay, what about uh, the the size? Let's say, let's say the size in this moment. El tamaño, huh? She is uh, longer. Longer. We don't say longer. No, but no. you were close. Estaba cerca, but <laughs> no longer. Huh? What is it? What is the adjective? She is high, tall, very tall, tall, tall. tall. or tall. very tall. Uh -huh. Tall is the correct adjective. She is tall. tall. Uh -huh. Correct. And what about eye color? What eyes can you color. say uh -huh. about her eyes? She has gray, green eyes. Gray uh -huh. or green. Okay, that depends on gray. the screen. <laughs> depends on I your screen. Gray. Okay, maybe, maybe yes. She has 
green eyes or gray eyes. or gray or claros or grises gray eyes correct and what about what about the skin what can you say about the skin white yeah wait white okay but she, the complete white. the complete structure would be she sería cual? a white she is she have a, a white skin okay she has she has she has yeah because has. i have no is is like i have yes. you have she she has he has because he's has. the third person in english he has the correct okay she has white skin of course she is white yes. she has white skin correct okay good uh, and the sentences that you can use Which are mm -hmm. yeah. question yes she, she wearing she wearing a a white uh, blouse okay perfect she okay. is wearing she is. she's wearing she's wearing correct she's and wearing a white blouse, blouse, repeat, blouse, blouse. 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 Okay, perfect, yeah. Yeah, it is okay. correct. You are describing what she's wearing too. Not a problem, that's correct too. But remember, uh, you can say, uh -huh, white blouse, blouse. Repeat it, repeat it, blouse, blouse, blouse. Okay, good. And the sentences, the sentences, uh-huh, she's, she is young. She's young. You said it. You said it previously. It was correct. Next. She's tall. She's she tall. Mm -hmm. She has long. She has long red, red hair. hair. Long red hair. 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 Okay. Pronunciation is a hair. It's like hair. the subject. The hair name is. Okay. Is a hair. Correct. Okay, let's advance with the class. Describing, oh no, the previous one. Describing, describing people, people when, when describing someone's, describing someone, when describing someone's appearance, appearance, we describe. Okay, what can you describe when you are talking about someone's appearance? You can describe this. What is that? Her. Uh -huh. The hair. Okay, you can describe the hair. The hair correct. The hair. What else? Hair. What else? Hmm? You can hair. describe eyes. Repeat eyes. Ice color. Ice color. Ice color. Okay. Ice color. In the picture, we have a different ice color. Uh, what else? What else can you describe? Skin hmm? color. Skin color. Skin. Repeat. Skin. Skin color. Skin color. Skin color. Okay. And this. Skin color. Skin color. Hey. Hey. Hate. 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 Mm, hate. The pronunciation. Let me check. I'm not right. sure that is hate. Okay, let's check. Just to make sure, para asegurarnos. Um, hmm, let me find the word. There it is. Height. Can you repeat it? Height. Height. What is height? What is, what is height? What is height? Mm -hmm. What is height? Height. The noun. The noun. Not the adjective. The adjective is different. But a height is the? The alta. La estatura. Estatura. Yeah. That, is, that is the word. Estatura. Height. Okay. The next one is? Hair. Hair. Hair length. Hair length. Hair length. What is a hair length? Hair length. Lo largo. What is hair length? Lo largo. Lo largo. Correct. Hair length. Okay, good. Next, what is next? Body shape. Body, what is body shape? What is body shape? Mm -hmm. Body shape. Forma del cuerpo. Okay, correct, yes. Body shape. And lastly, and finally, we have? Hmm? Other place in other parts. Place in other parts, okay. 
let's see. Uh, a volunteer for this first part, please. I see that someone has uh, some interruption. Veronica, can you turn off your microphone? It's uh, causing a lot of noise. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, um, a volunteer for this part, please. A volunteer, we are gonna learn new terms for this class. I can try to turn. Sure, sure, Carlos, go ahead. Okay. If you're all you might have a pension, so you're an old age pensioner or a senior citizen, an old person might be 65 years old and over. Okay, good. What is a pensioner? Who knows? Who knows? A pensioner. For example, my grandmother is a pensioner. She receives a pension every month. Mm -hmm. The meaning, the meaning of pensioner is? Jubilado, pensionado. Jubilado, pensionado, etc. Correct, yes. That's the thing. A senior, senior citizen. An old person might be, puede que sea, might be 65 years old and? Or más. And over, or más, and over, correct. Okay, good. Uh, continue, please. Before you're old, around 55, for example, you can be middle-aged. If you have children when you're this age, they can be young adult, 20, 25 years of age, or teenager, uh, 30, 13, uh, 19. Okay, all right. Okay, it says uh, if you have children when you are this age, they can be young adult, uh, around 20 and 25 years old. And you can find people, okay, or, or children, let's say children, but when they are teenagers, they are between 13 and 19 years, 19 years old, for example. Who is uh, the pensioner in the picture? <clears throat> Who is the pensioner? It's easy to guess. Pretty easy. Senior. The senior. Okay. Senior, One thing. Uh -huh. Senior, elder, yeah. or senior. pensioner. Okay. Those are three words are more polite than if you say old. Because old is not very good to use for someone uh, around this age, okay? So in so in so if you want to uh, refer to a person of this age, si se quiere referir a persona de esta edad, you can use a senior. Hey, I saw a senior crossing the, the street the other day, or I saw an elder person or a pensioner, but don't use old because some people don't like it. Okay, that's an impolite word. Okay, and who is the the young adult? Mm -hmm. Who is the young adult? The girl. Okay, the girl. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. The girl with black hair. With long because it's long. She has long long with hair. Her. With long and long. the color. Yeah. And black. Uh -huh. black. Black. Hair. Black long hair. hair. Okay, correct long black hair okay she's a young adult woman okay perfect perfect okay let's see who else who else thank you thank you carlos for for helping me out with this oh you can finish okay. the, the paragraph if you want this is my paragraph there are other words for younger children for example a toddler is around one three years old while a baby from zero or uh, 12 months old. Okay, perfect. When you have a baby, it means that the, the year is uh, from zero to 12 months old. That's a baby. But a toddler is a kid. Okay, a very small kid in age. Toddler. Or you can say kid. That's another, another word. Okay, or children too. Those are common words. In this one, you can use it too, toddler. And the teenager, the teenager, 
do you remember the years from a teenager that a teenager has? Guys, hello, hello. Adolescent. Boy. Uh, but the years, tell me the years that a teenager has. 13. From 13, 19. From 13, correct, to? To 19. 19 years old. Okay, correct, good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's continue. The next one is going to be about... Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Oh. Uh, uh, how, how you say... Eh, el joven, como decía abajo, disculpe, no lo escuché bien. Ah, ok. Eh, let's see, let's go back. Página anterior, yes. The previous, the previous slide. Hey, what's going on? It's not working. Let's see this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teenager. Teenager. Yeah, teenager. Ah, ok, it's, uh, there is a mistake. Impression. There is a mistake. It's T double E. No double N. Okay, teenager. Hey, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Where is the word? Okay, this one. The one in orange. That is the correct one. Teenager. One yeah. N and double E. Double E. Okay. Double e. I, I can okay. I will correct this because is there is a mistake. Okay, teenager. Uh -huh, adolescente. Yes, yeah, someone said there. Alguien dijo ahí adolescente. Okay, correct. Next, the physical describing people. Next, physical, physical appearance. appearance. Okay, appearance. let's take a look at the picture first. Okay, if you see someone about this shape, the words are mm -hmm. overweight or, overweight. or, or heavy. heavy or heavy. But be hey. careful, don't use, don't use, and I repeat, don't use overweight. What is overweight? Overweight. Sobrepeso. Uh -huh. sobrepeso. Uh -huh. Overweight, okay, con sobrepeso. Or heavy? What is Pesado. heavy? Uh, not literally, literalmente no. It's someone who is overweight, alguien que tiene sobrepeso, heavy. A heavy person, for example. Yeah. But is not a... a a word, uh -huh. but in in her mass and so body mass mass body okay good but don't use it don't use it and next is is limb limb thin 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 thin, thin. thin. and that is mm -hmm. delgado delgadito delgado yeah. correct is limb Okay, but if you see a person like him, then it wouldn't be a slim or thin. That would be? Skinny. 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 What is a skinny? Who knows? Quien sabe? Who knows? What is a skinny? When, when you see a skinny person, you can see a hair or his bones. Okay, for example, in this part, in, in the neck, on the arms, etc. Skinny is uh -huh. uh, musculoso. No, no is the complete, no. the opposite, the opposite of musculoso. Uh, no, <laughs> no, skinny. Okay, skinny is like huesudo, muy seco, etc. Okay, that is the meaning, correct? It's skinny. Yeah. Skinny, and this one is the adjective short, short, short and tall. And tall. Okay, oh. let's see. Let's see body shape. Who can read this part? Who can read it? Let's practice uh, pronunciation, speaking, etc. People, people are building a good in mm -hmm. all in shapes. shapes and cis. In sizes. In sizes. There are. There are those. Who are. Who, who are fat. Fat. Fat and overweight. Overweight. Mm -hmm. Some. Some people. Are extremely. Overweight and are. Obese. 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 Other people are naturally slim. But. Uh, but. 
other look have have absolutely absolutely no fat, no fat on no them. No fat on them and are thin, thin, thin or skinny. Skinny, okay. Uh, be careful with the words. Uh, fat. Don't use fat uh, for referring to a person that yes. has that has this shape. Okay. Don't use it. It's very impolite and this one is too and this one less esta menos don't use it what is obese uh -huh. obese. No? obese yeah don't use it because it's impolite okay thin or skinny that depends good and other words other words are for describing people and build are for example stocky stocky it says is small but but well but well built boy. okay yeah. what is that teacher a small but well built is talking for example if you see a short person and the person is very mm -hmm, very yeah, really man. Need to, huh? but small but small what is what is the word that we use in spanish for a person for a stocky person uh huh but he's short. He's a short person, but he's very. Masicito, we say, right? Like some early. Uh -huh. um, no, but he's, he's short. He's pequeño. Short. He's small, but well built. Like, like a person that goes to the gym, for example, but short. And the next one are? The next ones oh. are tall. Oh. So, uh, the common one, short. This one is lean. lean. With, lean. With, very, with very little fat. Okay, very little fat. No fat. What is fat? What is fat? Who oh, no. knows? Grasa. Grasa, correct. Fat. Yes. Uh, wiry. Repeat. Wiry. Wiry. Uh, quite thin, but muscular. Says in athletic. Wiry. Okay, this is, for example, a person who exercises a lot in the gym. And next, the well, well proportioned. Proportion. Well proportioned is generally, generally, attractive. generally attractive in all their body. Their body. In all their body. Okay, that means a person too that goes to the gym. Okay, that exercises a lot every day. Well proportioned. Good. Next. Curvaceous. Curvaceous. Repeat curvaceous. Curvaceous. Okay. This is for. For a woman. For a woman. For a woman. And now we're a glass. Figure. Like. Film star. Who was a 1940s film star in the past, if you know? If you know, 1940. Uh -huh. Who? Ken? Who? Who was? Who was? Uh -huh. Quien fue? Who was uh, one of these persons? In Marilyn the... Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Perfect. Of course. She was a uh, uh, curvaceous. Okay. Curvaceous. What is that? Hmm? She curvaceous. was very curvaceous. What was that? What is the meaning? Uh -huh. mm. mm -hmm. Look at my hands. It says an hour a glass figure. Curvaceous. Uh -huh. Curvaceous, but the Curvace. meaning, the meaning? Uh -huh. No one, no one knows. <gasps> that is the meaning of curvaceous. Curvaceous. Uh -huh. It's similar. Curvy, curvy, que? Curvilinea. Curvilinea, yeah, that's the meaning, correct, curvilinea, okay, but in English we say curvaceous, yes, okay, curvilinea, okay, good, like Marilyn Monroe, next, fit, fit, healthy, healthy, active, active. active. Uh -huh. to be fit, to be fit. So, so, you should take plenty, plenty. plenty. Or first exercise. Plenty means a lot, a lot in quantity, quantity about time, exercises, etc. 
feet. Are you feet? Who is feet in this class? I am not feet. I need to go more to the, to the gym and running. Okay. Do you go to the, who goes to the gym in this class? Who goes? Do you go, Josue? Carlos? Pablo? Yes. Ah, perfect. Okay. But are you, are you feet? So, so. So, so. Okay. So, so. so, so. You need more exercise. You need more exercise to be fit. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. In Flabby, let's repeat Flabby. What's that? Flabby. Flabby. When? When Muscles. Muscle. Muscle. Okay. Uh, let's repeat the word. Muscles. 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 No muscles. No, it's muscles. <laughs> muscles. Yes, muscles. muscles. Goes up. Okay, when you touch someone's arm, for example, when you touch someone, hey, you are very aguado. Uh -huh. What is that? Flabby. Placido, correct? Yes. When your muscle goes, when your muscles go soft, they are not firm. No, some firmer. Okay, that that is the opposite. Okay, uh, never say, never say. Someone is overweight. 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 Or, or is, is obese. obese. Never say because it's very impolite. Okay, and you can offend uh, those received. people. Yeah, you, that can be very aggressive. No, don't use that, the word. Okay, good. Uh, continue. Next, describing people now is about? About what? Coloring. 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 What's that? What's coloring. that about coloring? Okay, let's see uh, who is in class at this time. Uh, Gabriela, help me please with the first paragraph, Gabby. Coloring. Hello, Hello, Gabby, man. Gabriela. Nope. Okay, Claudia Yamilet, maybe, or Jenny Sarai. <laughs> you can. I am right. Okay. A reader, I need a reader. Necesito un lector, a reader. You mm -hmm. can. You can, you can describe, describe someone as an English rose if if they have fair, fair hair, fair uh, hair, and fair skin. Very skin. skin, skin. Very white very color. color of skin. Very white color of skin. Someone white with 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 this complexion, complexion doesn't. Tan. 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 Easily. A, easily and has to be careful, careful in the, in the sun. sun. You can also, you can also, also be blonde. blonde. Blonde with a fair, fair complexion. 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 Okay, in other words, uh, people who are English rose, for example, for women, we say that she blonde. is blonde. What is blonde? blonde? What's blonde? Rubia. Rubia, correct, rubia, yes. Rubia. And uh, in the case of men, we say that a man or a man is, is white, white or, or ca huh? Caucasian. Caucasian. Okay, Caucasian. What is Caucasian? Uh, Caucasico, uh -huh. white. Look at, look at the his skin. And look at the hair and skin. They are white, very white. Both, both of them. Mm -hmm. That's why we say we're very white color of the skin, very white. And have you seen people that are called sons, sons of the or children of the sun? People call it here in El Salvador, but that is not correct. Hijos del, from the so because they are very white, but that's not polite, I guess. I wouldn't like to be called like that. No me gustaría. Okay. Albino. <laughs> uh, correct. Correct. Good. Uh, next, you are born. You are born uh, with a color white or Caucasian, Caucasian black or Asian. Asian. 
Asian. You can also say person of color. For example, a woman of color or a man of color to describe anyone, anyone. Who is not white. But never use. But well, never use never the word, use word color. colored. Mm -hmm. People, colored. people whose parents, whose parents, whose parents are of different ethnic origin, origin are mixed race. Southern, Southern, Southern Europeans European are sometimes described described as. Mediterranean. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, import, the important here is uh, when you see someone of uh, of this uh, color of a skin, never, it says here in this part, never, never call it black, okay, because that is <laughs> improper, impolite, that's not correct, any word that you can use. Instead of that, you can use a person of color. color or a woman of color, or a man of color, okay? But never black, never black, okay? And in the case of hair, you can use, ah, she is from, Asia. from Asia, okay? Or she is Asian, Asiatic, okay? But I guess that that is not offensive as black, okay? But never black. A black woman, no. A black man, no. How can you say it? ¿Cómo puede decirlo? Mm -hmm. Colored. Uh, no. Colored. That is that is not correct neither. The words that are in orange, not so good. They are not good. No son buenas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A woman of, you can use, or you can say a woman of color or, <laughs> or man, man of color. color. But not the word colored. Because that's a bad. Or instead of that, you can use man of color African American. Or <laughs> African, or he is, you can use he is African American or she is African American. All right. Is that clear? Clear, clear? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. When you travel to another country, be careful when you travel. <laughs> Okay, describing people, now we have about? Face. About the? The face. face. Okay, let's look at the pictures. In, in the first picture, what can you see? The first description. Eyebrows. Bushy eye, eyebrows. eyebrows. What is, um, who is a person um, that has a um, bushy eyebrows? Las How, cejas. Uh, yeah, eyebrows, yes. But bushy eyebrows, mm, bushy. do you know the word in Spanish? We have used it in the past, in, in the present too. Hmm? A person with uh, bushy eyebrows, how? Escudo. Uh -huh. Ah, can you repeat it? Uh -huh. Las escudo. Escudo or sejuda. Correct. Porque brushy okay. es como brocha. Uh, similar. similar, okay, similar. Sinónimo, similar. Okay, that's a synonym. But sejudo, yes, or sejuda, but that is not <laughs> polite. That's not polite. You can use bushy eyebrows, okay? Bushy eyebrows. Yes, bushy. Bushy is with a lot of hair. The description is, is here. See? Bushy eyebrows is sure. lots of it's thick, lots of thick hair on your, on your eyebrows. eyebrows. Okay, eye, eyebrows, eyebrows. Yes. All right, okay, good. Next, the girl, it says. Crooked, crooked teeth. Crooked teeth. Crooked Crooked teeth. Crooked teeth. Who is, who is a person that has crooked teeth? Uh -huh. What is crooked teeth? Uh -huh. eh, quebrados, mm, torcido. broken, ah, torcido, sí, but broken, no, she, <laughs> she doesn't have broken, <laughs> no, broken teeth, no, ah, torcidos, I believe that, creo que sí, es así, oh. uh -huh. pando, torcido, etc., correct, okay, like the girl, that is using 
uh, brackets. Good. Okay. Then let's see the next one. The next picture is about a uh, a hooky nose hooky person. Nose person. Nose person. 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 Look, at, look at her nose. How is her nose? Is irregular. Uh -huh. Is not a uh, um, Okay, but that's not polite neither. Tampoco es uh -huh, polite. Okay, but look at the, the nose. Her nose is irregular. That's why that is a hook nose person and you have the description uh, mm -hmm. in this part. Uh, where is it? Uh, ah, yeah. A prominent. Okay, no, a, a prominent, prominent no se dice. No. Nose. A prominent nose. nose, but not, pero no. A white. A white nose. nose. Irregular. Okay, irregular. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know this guy? Do you know this this person? Who's he? Rooney. Wayne. No. Wayne Rooney. Yeah, soccer player. Rooney. He has. A, correct. Nose. A snoob nose. nose. What is a snoob nose? A snoob Chato. nose is Chato. a nose. Or uh -huh. Which oh. goes. It goes. We goes. Up. Uh, we goes at up. The end. At the end. Ah, <laughs> is, uh -huh. What would be the term? ¿Cuál sería el term? Para ahí. Chato. Uh, yeah, it can be. Chato or um, yeah, both can be. Okay, can be. Yeah. It depends on the context. Depends on the context también. Okay, good. And next, uh, we have this one. The last uh, picture is about a person. Person with, with dimples. 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 Repeat dimples. Dimples. Repeat it. Dimples. What, what's, what dimples. are dimples? What are dimples? Uh -huh. when you yes. get little hollows when you get little hollows in, in your, your cheeks. cheeks in your cheeks the or next to the in correct your mouth, when you mm -hmm. smile when you smile yes when you smile okay she has she has mm -hmm. she has Her, she has a dimples a dimples Dimple. no because dimples is a plural no ample a is only when you use one object. In this case, a broad nose is only one nose, not two. But in the case of dimples, we don't use a because a is for singular. All right? Yes? Clear? Okay. Yes. Okay, it's clear. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue with the next part. The next part is about... Okay. Oh, I didn't see hair. on time Jose's uh, message. Okay. Okay, here, the hair. Okay, mm -hmm. what is the first one? The first one that we have. The first picture. Long hair. Curly. Curly hair. What is curly? Long Curly, colocha. Uh, correct. Okay. Short. The next one. Short. Short. Straight hair. hair. Okay. What is what is that? Short is straight. Corto y. Liso. Liso. Okay. Good. The next one. Wavy. Wavy. What is wavy hair? Ondulado. Correct. Okay. Good. Next. Going bold. 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 What is bold? bold. With Calvo. no hair. Okay. Almost Calvo. with no hair. Calvo. Bold. Calvo. 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 Correct. Bold. Next. Red, red head. head. Red, red head. head. She's a red head. Red head. Cabeza roja. Red Cabeza head. Roja. No. Cabeza we foca. say. No, neither. Roja. Neither that one. It's peli. Pelirroja. Yes, okay, that's the correct the correct translation. No cabeza roja, no cabeza, no, no, nothing. It's pelirroja. Yes, yes. next. <coughs> receding. 
and receding airline. airline. Okay. Airline. This is like going bold, almost, Cassie. Because you are losing, you are losing part of your hair in, in the front part of your head. Correct. That's why it is receding. Que está, it's, it's falling down. It's falling down. Your hair is falling down. Good. Mm -hmm. Next. French. 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 What is French? French. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Do we have the description? Uh, oh, yeah. It is here. A fridge. Where is good? Where? Okay, this is an, an old hairstyle. What is the hairstyle called? Red, there's a pio, the famous pio. Yes, from all times. From the night is correct. Yeah, okay. This guy, he's an actor. Shaved hair. Shaved hair. Mm -hmm. What is a shaved hair? hair. Pelo corto. <laughs> no, the short no. hair is pelo corto. Rapado? Rapado? Yes, correct. Rapado. Rapado. Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very, but very short. Okay, that is a shaved hair. And this one? One time. The hairstyle. What is ponytail? Cool. What is a ponytail? Una cola. Cola right. de caballo. Uh, do you do you use a uh, ponytail, okay. Evelyn, or Adriana, <laughs> or Gabriela? Do you use or Veronica, Jamie, Beatriz? Do you use a uh, ponytail when you when yes. you come? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, you do. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. These ones are hair styles. Hair styles. You can read these uh, with uh, with more time okay you can study the terms with uh, with a little bit more about time okay let's see do we have anything else to to see ah yeah we have more hey, hey what time is it hey, we have eight minutes okay we can check that in eight minutes okay the first picture Look at her face. What does she have on her face? She has freckles. 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 They those are mm -hmm. the small dots. Okay. Pecas. Correct. Next. Is skin. Skin. Tags. Okay. She has some skin tags. On her neck, Berrugas. but they're small, but they are small. Correct, those are, as a song, those are correct. And the next picture is about the molds. Repeat, molds. you pronounce molds. molds. Do you do you have molds? molds? What is what is molds? What are molds? Lunar. Okay, do you have molds on any part of your face or body? Do you have molds? Yes. I have molds. Yes, yes, yes. I have molds. Uh, see, I have, three. Hand, I have three on my hand, see? Yeah, I have two. Yeah, I have like three on my hand. Okay, good. Those are molds. Molds, molds, lunares. Next. The next, she has spots, spots. spots or impulse. impulse. And that impulse. means acne. acne. Okay. Acne. Bar. Yeah, correct. Next, we have word. word. What is a word? Okay. A word is a little bit bigger than the skin tags. Okay. A little bit bigger. And this is a proper word. Okay, and next. Like, uh, lunar de carne. Uh, no, those are the skin tags. The skin tags are those ones. These ones are verrugas, word. Okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, next. 
Wrinkles, 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 wrinkles. Do you have wrinkles uh, around your eyes, guys? Do you have wrinkles? Arrugas. Do you have? Yes. Uh -huh. I do. I guess that I do have. Uh huh. I, yeah. They they'll tell the age you have. Ella dice la edad que tienen. Uh huh. I have some. The wrinkles. They say your age. They or they show your age better. Okay, good. And the first, the last one, the baby. A bird mark. A bird mark. What is a bird mark? Okay, correct. That is a bird mark. Some, it's like. Marca uh, roja. Uh huh. It, it can be any color. It can be red. It can be uh, brown. dark and brown, etc. But if you have birthmark, that is the meaning. S is in the significance of the birthmark. Okay, and next to them, next to them, you have the definitions. You can read yes. them, you can study the terms so you can learn. This is a pretty, pretty good to refer to people as skin. People as skin. Good. Let's see, do we have more? Okay, this part. Uh, more. Vocabulary and practice. and practice. Okay, guys, and when you are learning in English, this is uh, very important for you to get a uh, vocabulary. With uh, no vocabulary, it's difficult to uh, to express or to talk about the things that we need to talk when you speak. Uh, so. You can study, you can practice with these three links. You can check. You're going to see that you can find more vocabulary about uh, physical adjectives. It says mm -hmm. adjectives to describe physical appearance. And yeah. if you check, you have plenty, plenty of vocabulary you can check. See? There is the birthmark. Here it is. Aquí está. Birthmark. Uh, what else? Ah, the dimple. It says. Oyuelo. Dimples. And look at it. You can explore. You can study. Practice. Etc. All right. And what about the, the two other links? The first link. Let's open it quickly. Because we have only one minute. One minute. Okay, this is like an activity, appearance and one. If you check, it's about the lesson that we are studying in this moment. So you have uh, five exercises that you can develop in your free time uh, for you to practice. And they are two. They are two links about these practices. All right, guys, I just uh, wanted to show you uh, the links that you can use to study this, uh, this topic. Remember, you get an uh, assignment about this topic, too. All right? All right? All right, so good? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. This, this is the, the second link, appearance, too. They are two exercises about appearance. people appearance. Yes, people appearance. Okay, good. Uh, guys, uh, thank you for joining to the class. Thank you very much for your participation too. See you tomorrow for the third class of the week. Okay, and continue with, with the platform. Okay, continue with okay. the exercises. Okay. All right, thank you very much for being in the class. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Tomorrow. Take care. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night too. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Good night. Have a great night.